the people don't have freedom, all the people don't have justice, and all the people don't have power, so that means none of us do. Provide the leadership to the people's revolution so he can take this country and change it. Turn it upside down and put the last first and the first last. Not only for black people, but for all people. Okay, could you tell me uh, what you think of this 50th anniversary reunion of the Black Panther Party? I had nothing to do with the planning of the 50th anniversary and I came out here and frankly it blew my mind. The Oakland Museum, the whole museum, the exhibit, this program that looked like a small town phone book about the Black Panther 50th anniversary is so well organized, so impressive, and drew such big crowds. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. And that it's great to be in Oakland where the Black Panther Party started. And I think Oakland is a place where there's a lot more love and awareness for the Black Panther Party than other places because it started here and so many people who were Panthers lived in Oakland. In fact, there was one of the Panthers named Gail Bell and I became friends and we used to talk about the fact that it's something about Oakland that all these people are joined to the Black are drawn to the Black Panther Party, so we call them the Oakland Specials. <laughs> the people in Oakland, the special people in Oakland were wanting to be in this revolutionary movement that was so innovative and exciting and yeah, it was dangerous, but that's not what we saw at the first go round. It was something that happened in Oakland and it was something that was amazing. And we love being Panthers. And I had to leave very quickly after the party started because Eldridge left the country and then I left to be with him. But the movement here grew and grew and it transformed and it just, very much a part, even though it became a national and international movement, Oakland is the key where it started. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think is the legacy that the Black Panther Party left in America? They had a struggle. We, a lot of people are intimidated about taking, intimidated by the prospect of taking on the state. And I can understand that they are intimidated because the state and its police forces and its information, inf you know, information dominance can be intimidating. But we were so young and so much a part of what was called the Vietnam War era that we weren't intimidated. And there was movements in Vietnam, there was movements in France, there was movements here. There was a lot of young people who became uh, animated and excited. So it seemed like we had a shot at changing the world. And that's very, very unusual but I didn't know it was unusual. <laughs> I was right in the middle of it, right there with everybody else, and it was great. It was the most energetic, imaginative, lively movement I'd ever seen, and probably that many people had ever seen. So it encourages you to participate, and people in the Black Panther Party, when I was here, and I left in 69 to join Eldridge, who was by that time a fugitive and in Algeria. And it was, it was exciting. It meant something. And people around the world, people in Cuba, people in Algeria, people in Vietnam, they loved the Panther Party. People copied it. They had Black Panthers in Israel. They had Dalit Panthers in India. They had Panthers in the Caribbean. And so whatever it was that the Black Panther Party represented, which is essentially young people and not very necessarily educated, not necessarily in the elite, came together collectively and demanded that conditions be different. The most intriguing, intriguing okay. to me of the people I met in various parts of the world who adopted the Black Panther Party as a model were the ones in Israel. and. The reason they adopted it because they were Moroccan and other Jews who were not from Europe. And so when they come and migrate to Israel, he said, they put us in the worst places. They give us the most rotten jobs. They put us in places where we're more likely to be attacked. They just held us in contempt. We said, we got to do something about this. We got to push them back. We're going to be a Black Panthers. <laughs> and they had t-shirts that said Panthers. They had long hair. So that really struck me that the Black Panthers actually were a model for oppressed people around the world. And mm -hmm. then in India, the Dalits, I met one of the leaders of the Dalit Panthers 
at the Pan-African Cultural Festival in Algeria in 2009. And he said that, he said, you know, in America, your people may have been oppressed maybe 150, 200 years. He said, in India, the Dalits have been oppressed for thousands of years. Hmm. But they created something called the Dalit Panthers. Yes, 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 a good example. Can you give me an idea of any examples or lessons that can be uh, gleaned from the Black Panther Party history that might be useful today? You mean for America? Yes, for America. Well, I think all of the 10-point program is a blueprint for what's wrong in this country, what we wanted to change. We want power to determine the destiny of our own black community. That's point one. Do we have that power? We still want to have the power to determine the destiny of our own black community. Uh, we want land, housing, bread, justice, and peace. We still need those things. And so it's a valid blueprint for how you can focus your change. Now, I'm not sure everything should be done by one organization. In fact, I think you could have 10 organizations. One for economic justice, one for ending police violence and brutality, uh, one for housing. And I think we do see in our communities sort of a proliferation of groups. But the thing that made the Black Panther Party different, I think it wasn't just about social change. It was young people who were willing to risk their lives and they used uh, the, the, the techniques and tools of people who don't have a lot of resources. Art, music, uh, some community patrols. So this was not an expensive operation. This was very, very grassroots. I think what made it phenomenal was the high level of organization and intelligence of the original group that became Black Panthers. These are extremely brave, extremely imaginative, extremely caring, and they, their energy attracted all kinds of people, and it also attracted an enormous amount of police hostility, which created a, a drama. And all of a sudden, it, it blew up. Okay. So do you have any final thoughts that you would like to share with us? I think that there needs to be another generation of Black Panthers, not necessarily in the name. They don't have to take that name. It's probably a better idea that they don't. As a matter of fact, there was a group in Newark that I got to know that was started at Howard University by students, including Ross Baraka, who was Amiri Baraka's son. And they named their organization, I think they called it Black Nia Force or something like that. And they said they considered naming it the Black Panthers, and they said, but why do we want to take on that baggage? Mm -hmm. So I thought that was brilliant. They said, we want to do the same things, but we want to have a different name. So I think it's the principles of the Black Panther Party and the 10-point platform of the Black Panther Party and the energy of the Black Panther Party that is a model, but it's probably a better idea to use a different name for the organization and not necessarily generate whatever it is, hostility, exaggerated uh, popularity, you know, the, 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 leave the Black Panthers in history and continue the activity under a more modern name. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you agree? Yes. That's a modern name? Yes. In the name. <laughs> What's in the name? Well, a lot, a uh -huh. lot. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of violence attached to the way the Black Panther Party was treated. That's kind of yeah. why. Yes. You know, maybe that's not the best thing. That's why I was so impressed with these students from Howard. They say, no, we want to do the same thing, but we're not going to use that name.